Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of our miners here, S19J and S19 Pro. We noticed that some of the fans were going bad on them. Uh, we look online on the, uh, through the browser and we see some of the fans were running at like 800 RPM rather than running at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 RPM. Very interesting. We're talking about how to fix those issues and what could be causing them. So if you think that's interesting, hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you want to set up an ASIC or GPU mining farm, here we have an ASIC farm. It's a 1.75 megawatt working farm, fully loaded. Got S19J Pros, S19 uh, Pros, 110 and 100 terahash running here, all running at full blast, going uh, perfectly, running perfectly. Got our filter system installed, nice clean air going into each miner. So go to CryptoLLC.org. Now we specialize in building out farms. You can see the farm here, you see the gravel on the floor, you see the transformers. So we can start off um, our clients. We can start off from the very beginning where you just have a plot of land, you have nothing there, you just have uh, dirt. And we can build out everything from scratch all the way until it's finished. See the fence, the roof, the cameras, the security system, the transformers, the gear, the filtration system, the miners, we can provide everything. So not only do we build everything out, we also provide miners. We provide one of the best prices you can get because we have very good connections with Bitmain. We can get very good pricing. So not only are you getting a farm, you're getting the best pricing available for ASICs. You get S19J Pros, S19s, S19XP, Hydros. We can provide Hydro systems, the whole entire water cooling system, everything can be done and set up on your property. So go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for that. All right, so today's video, again. Oh, before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth, Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, now we're ready. So today's video, we're talking about the fans. So before I go in there, because it's loud in there, I want to talk as much as possible out here so you can hear me on the microphone. So what we're having, uh, what issues we're having with the S19 Pro and S19J Pro is that the fans, they're spinning just fine, they're working just fine, and then for some reason, it just starts showing 800 RPMs. Now, how do we know that? We know that because when we run our software, we see that some of the miners are overheating more than the other ones. They're not overheated. They're not shutting down you know, in the protection mode, protecting itself. It's just warmer than the other ones. And when we look at that software, we see that the fan speed is spinning at like 3,000, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000, and then the four fan, there's four fans, the four fan is spinning at 800 or 500. So we know for sure that that fan is dead. The only reason it's shown 800 and 500 is because the fan is spinning from just regular circulation of air. So basically the, the funneling of air from the filtration system into the miner is causing it to spin on its own. So let's say you have a fan that's dead. Let's say this one right here. This one will keep spinning at 800 just because of the force. Just because of the force the air going in, being sucked in from this guy, and these guys all around, it's forcing that one to spin at 800. What does that mean? It means that the fan is not spinning at all from itself. You know, it's not, it's not uh, spin, trying to spin. It's basically dead. But it's still recording a spin of 800 just by the flow. So if you turn off the miner and you turn it back on, you'll see that the fan's not spinning, and then slowly it'll start spinning up all on its own. So it's a dead fan. You need to replace that fan. What causes these, these issues? So I'll show you guys around this corner. We have a bunch of dead fans here. You see this big pile of dead fans? So we're keeping these here. <clears throat> this is our garbage pile. And we're also keeping these here to give us like an, uh, an idea you know, of what brands are breaking and, and uh, which uh, fans not to buy when we buy replacement fans. These fans right here, this cooling brand, you see here, well, it's not, a, it's not the brand, it's, it's like an off brand, but you can get like an idea by looking at that model number. See that model number right there? So that model number, you can buy other fans that have that same model number, they work the same way, it's just made by some other company. This is the one that comes with the S19 Pro, not the J Pro, the Pro. This one is the one that breaks all the time. What, what I mean by all the time, I don't mean like you're, you're having 20 fans going down every single day. What I mean is like, out of 600 miners, 500, 600 miners, you'll have one miner go down, I would say on average every two days. So a fan would die out of 600 miners. So if you have 600 times four, that's how many fans you have, right? That's uh, 2,400 fans. 
So out of 2,400 fans, one would die every about two days. That's the death ratio of these fans. So what we did was we went and we went with these other fans. You see how this piece just flew off? This is what happens with some fans. They have an absolute, you know, like self-destruction of itself. Basically just explodes. This fan right here, we bought these ones. These are 7,200 RPM fans. We bought these to test about how great they work. And actually, these are very bad fans. They, they were even worse than the cooling fans. They all just fell apart like this. You know, after a couple of months, it just rips apart like that, falls apart. It's absolute, absolute junk. But these cooling fans, sometimes you take them, look at this. I spin him up, he's fine, right? I wiggle him, he's fine. I don't see any issues with it. But when you plug him in, he's showing 800 RPM. And you know, in the firmware detects that you have 800 RPM on the miner, I mean on the fan, and the firmware could either allow that, sometimes it allows it, just as long as it's not overheating, but sometimes it'll say, no, your fan has a problem. We cannot run the miner until you replace the fan. So you gotta replace it. That's one. The other issue you have is the miner will actually report not 800 RPM, the miner will report 8,000, or no, not 8, 18,000 RPM. So the miner's like, whoa, I'm spinning really, really fast. Obviously, it's not spinning that fast. It's an error in the sensor. The sensor is not providing accurate data. The sensor is showing you like 18,000 RPM, 20,000 RPM, and so on. And it's these cooling fans right here. Oh, no, oh, this one right here. It's these cooling fans. They're the ones that are showing you this really, really, really high number. And again, you take them out. Sometimes sometimes they do wiggle. Sometimes you, you wiggle them around. You can, you can tell that they're, they, they are you know wobbly. So it's like, okay, yeah, he's, he's not gonna work. But sometimes you, you get nothing out of them. You know, if they feel perfect. Look at this guy, he's a little bit wobbly. So that would make sense. But other ones, they're, a lot of them are actually pretty, pretty decent condition, nothing wrong with them. Anyway, when you have a fan that's reported 18,000, the firmware on the amp miner will automatically um, not allow that miner to mine. So you gotta replace that fan. Now, let me show you guys um, the fans we ordered directly from Bitmain. And the Bitmain also changes up their fans all the time. So if you ordered fans two years ago, they're different than the fans that they will sell you today. But let me show you guys the fans we got about a month ago. These are the same exact fans that come in an S19 J Pro. And these fans look really, really sturdy. They look really good quality. So let me show you those fans, if I have one here. Yes, I do. Okay. So here's this fan here. You can see the company made by MarTech. Here's that model number, 2.7 amps, 12 VDC, you know, all the good information. It feels like a really sturdy fan. When you spin it around, the, the fins look like good quality fins. Uh, when you, where you put the screws, they, they are really good quality plastic all around. So it feels like a really good quality uh, fan. And to give you an idea of how great they work, so our S19 J Pros arrived about like eight months ago. And for eight months, not a single fan broke. That MarTech uh, fans you buy from Bitmain, not a single one broke yet. So it's very, very good quality. Not a single one showed 800 RPM or showed 18,000 RPM or just fell apart or, or the fins broke or the, the head of it just ripped apart or something like that. Nothing broke. It's perfect condition. So, so far, so good. We'll see if they last two years or not, especially that the summer's coming around. In a couple of months, it'll be summertime, which means that the fans will be spinning at 100%, you know, maximum speed for a long period of time, like eight hours a day at maximum speed. It's going to be interesting to see um, if they can handle that. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Showing you guys around some of the fan problems, uh, fan issues, uh, fan qualities, and showing you the fans inside those S19Js, J Pros, and some of the other fans we actually tried out. That's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys like it, and until next time, bye.